All right, after trying literally everything else, I think it's finally time to just go ahead and dive in. Yes, all right. So this is how, oh, Daffodil, you're so adorable. So this is how you can arrive at the crates and the shipwrecks and be able to find something. All right, I really want to see. Okay, so we dive. And then once we dive, oh, I found something. A vibrant necklace and a limestone. That is so cool. And then how do we go ahead and get this crate? Oh my gosh. Valuable rings, empty bottles, turnips, maples. Oh, that's so cool. Isn't that absolutely amazing? Daffodil, what do you think about that? All right. It looks like that's all that there is to find at this crate location. But that's so fun. So I figured out how to be able to go ahead and dive around in the water. Daffodil. Oh, Daffodil, you're staying up on the little ball that you have. That's so cute. But all right. Well, that's really cool. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Spirit Fair, where we are taking up our new job guiding lost spirits into the edge of existence, which, even though it's the end of a story, is actually an important adventure to go on. And we are also here with a whole bunch of stuff in our pockets now, which I am so curious about. We have the key to our cabin. I've got an old shoe, a bunch of old carpet, dusty but precious nonetheless. It makes you slightly dizzy if you look at it for too long. It should be sold. I wonder when we'll be able to sell that. We also happen to have a beautiful vibrant necklace used to find guardians in another life. It no longer has any use. It should be sold. Oh, that's so cool. A valuable ring. A beautiful specimen of one true ring, but this doesn't rule anything except your wallet. Should be sold. Oh my gosh, we found so many things! Come along, Daffodil! I know that we need to go ahead and face our friend Gwen's fear and guide her to where the jellyfish are, but while we're at it, let's go ahead and see what the other crate has to offer. And I guess these crates are kind of like shipwreck places where we can go ahead and find things that have come into the spirit world. I like it. All right, I want to see what else we have in our pockets while we are waiting to approach the next crate. Coffee bean seeds. When planted in the field, these seeds will grow into coffee beans. That's so cool. And corn. Oh, and then we have a whole bunch of herring, a small and unambitious fish. Some say it can be eaten fermented, as dubious as this sounds. We've also got some turnips, the most essential root vegetables of the day. Now, you know, I've actually never really eaten a turnip. I probably should definitely change that, since turnips are in absolutely everything. And in the many, many, many other worlds of adventures I've gone on with so many different farming adventures, I definitely love growing turnips. Then we've got limestone. Limestone softness might suggest it's fragile, but it's actually quite durable. Can be broken down into lime powder with a special power tool, the crusher. An empty bottle can be smelted down into glass at the foundry or used as a recipient for certain activities, like that lightning in a bottle that I saw. And then we have a whole bunch of maple logs, heavy logs from a maple tree, very useful building material. Let's see if the sawmill will do the trick. Wow, so we really do want to go ahead and expand and build a ton of things. Lightning in a bottle is needed for the garden. We need more limestone and maple logs in order to make the field at some point. But especially important is actually building the kitchen, which we need the bright jelly for and the maple logs. So we do want to use caution with that. Oh, I think we're coming up on the crates. Look, you can see where some of the wreck has been. All right, let's try swimming over to this. Oh, when Stella leaves the boat, it automatically stops. It will restart automatically when everyone's back on board. All right, all right, all right. We're not all the way there, I got it. A little bit further. And we found another little shipwreck. I feel like I should be a bit more alarmed about that, but still. Also, I wonder what these barnacles on my boat are doing. I wonder if I can, like, pluck them off somehow. Oh, I think I can! Look! Oh, <gasps> mussels! Alright, and... up. Oh, an 
empty shell so I can actually pluck the muscles off my boat. That's amazing. Empty shells. There, I'm taking good care of my boat. That makes me very happy. And what do these crates have? Turnips, coffee beans, maple logs, empty bottles, and more corn seeds. I wonder if those two boats perhaps sunk in another world from the same place. But all right, let's go ahead. And we're absolutely going to want to go and move over. Whew. I wonder why Gwen was scared of jellyfish in whatever past life she had. That raises a lot of questions, if you ask me. Hey, Gwen. Let's give her a hug. Thank you. I needed that. Oh, now her mood has gone up. Oh, but she's hungry, so it's going down a little bit. Was recently hugged, so it's gone up. And then mood perk shops for fibers. Interesting. We can see her likes and dislikes, her favorite food, which I think is really sweet. We can give her things eventually. Can't talk to her right now. Probably because we need to go ahead and work on, you know, facing her fears as much as she really doesn't want that. And I guess while we go ahead and wait, I'll see if I can fish up something even better. We're going to be at the jellyfish spot very soon, though. All right, Daffodil, another herring, you think? Or another boot? Herring. <laughs> Cute. Oh, uh, I think we ended up in a bit of a darker place now. Oh, wow. This is a much darker place. I'm coming! Gwen, I'm coming! She shouldn't be alone in a place like this. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Here they come. Remember, set your eyes on the ones with bright jelly. Mm -hmm. They should be visible enough. That said, pop as many as you can. You'll get gleams anyway. I'll wait for you inside. It's just too hard for me to stay out mm -hmm. here. Okay, go ahead. I believe in you. What does that mean? What does this mean? Oh, whoa. Are they like weird little lost spirits? And there. And the fact that I'm here is able to kind of like, oh, Gwen, Gwen, I'm coming, Gwen. Oh, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh my gosh. Oh my word. So these manifest her fears somehow? There we go. Hang in there, Gwen! Okay. So the bigger we build our boat, the easier this would be try to get through. Oh my gosh. Alright. Wow. And I guess gleams are kind of just like the spirit currency almost of this place. Fantastic! Okay. I'm really impressed. You rocked it out there. Tumbling and diving like a shooting star. And without the slightest fear nor hesitation at that. You definitely haven't lost your touch, Stella. Mm -hmm. And you haven't gathered enough bright jelly to build a proper kitchen. Wow, so I wonder if all of those were just like fears manifested. And being able to use the spirit light to kind of dissolve those fears is what could be helpful. Go for it. I'll be patiently waiting. Mm. Slowly digesting myself. <laughs> I think she gets a little bit sassy to cover up how afraid she is. I wonder how long we had together as friends. All right, let's do this kitchen, yes! And look at how cute we can make it. We can, oh my gosh, that's so cute. <laughs> we can actually set the kitchen kind of like side by side. That's adorable, Oh. Okay, I'm going to put the kitchen over here for now. I'm sure we can move it eventually. 
because I want to put a little field down there. So we'll do this. All right, the kitchen. What do you think, Gwen? I like it. What can we whip up in here, I wonder? All right, cook. So we can go ahead and put the herring or the common mussel in. Then we've also got the turnips, maple logs. Ah, here we go. I'm coming, Gwen. Lovely kitchen. You can now use the kitchen's oven. It should be rather simple. Put any one ingredient in the oven and wait for it to be cooked. Mm -hmm. You could even try those loose corn kernels that have been hanging out in my pockets. I can't wait to see your cooking glory again. You got this. Okay, so I think she really likes corn. And then we can see a bunch of recipes here. Oh, this is going to be so fun to... <gasps> Look how many! Oh my word! This is going to be really fun to add some of these recipes into our zoo crafting realm at some point. All right, let's add some corn. Corn is a grain. I don't want to add that much corn, though. All right, so there's the corn. And, okay, that didn't add the corn. All right. Here's the grains. Okay, corn. And then cook. There we are. Oh, that's cute. Mm -hmm. Popcorn! All right, was this what you liked, Gwen? So now we have bright jelly, an odd substance that doesn't go on toast, and popcorn. So it's a comfort snack. Oh, there's different dish types. That's cute. I could eat anything. Just give me some food. All right, food. Well, I won't die just yet. Thanks, Stella. It's better than I thought it could be. But then again, you've always been a wonder in the kitchen. Don't forget, spirits don't run on sunshine and water. We need a good meal once in a while. I guess that would be like an essence. And if you didn't have enough essence, maybe you'll just dissolve in the spirit realm. It will be up to you to understand who's fond of what. Mm -hmm. As for me, I'm sure you remember I've always loved comfort food. And that I would die for a cup of coffee. Well, I like how you keep saying that you would die for something because, um, you know, it, it's a, a, a joke in this realm, isn't it? But I'm not that picky. I can eat anything. Mm -hmm. Just never the same thing twice. Oh, and before I forget, here's something I was supposed to give you. I'm not sure how exactly it works, but an orbel is a symbol of passage. It's a fee each spirit has to pay you. But something tells me you already knew that. Okay, let's keep improving this craft. As you must have seen in your blueprint table, there's both a field and a garden blueprint, which means you can grow many different things. I think there's something poetic about growing new life in the afterworld and turn the ship into an adorable farm of sorts. You should add a field first, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. It's going to be easier to find resources around here, and you can grow linen in it, which in turn will be used to craft more things. In addition to building a field, we should buy any seeds to, uh, to use in it. We should go buy seeds to use in it. Mm -hmm. That will come later. I need you to visit an island nearby. It's called Mostin Cove. And, oh, I like that name. Mustine Cove, and there's something on it we need. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you why when we get there. Oh, that's so fun. Yay, and she's feeling better. And I wonder what the heck an aura ball is. A mark of passage paid in full. And seeds for the future. So, seeds for the future. Head to Mustine Cove. Build a field. Okay. And we can do all of these little upgrades once we have enough gleams. We do have gleams now. We need planks in order to get a mailbox, linen thread, lightning in a bottle. No current shenanigans. That's so fun. Let's go ahead and sleep since we can't, you know, have the boat actually move during the night because the light's gone. And I wonder how many guest houses we'll need. We Right now, we really only have enough room for one-ish. Maybe two if we had the field, but not the garden. There we are. Just a peaceful night on the spirit sea. I'm really falling in love with this quite quickly. And then while we wait, let's go ahead and head over to Mostine Cove. Anything else to gather? And it looks like that little bit of fear is now gone. 
And the world is really getting a lot bigger. All right, Gwen. Just in case you get hungry again, let's go ahead and cook her up a couple more pieces of popcorn. I know she complained. We do have the popcorn. So if we have corn, let's, uh, in fact, actually out of curiosity, let's try cooking some other things like the herring, just to see if that unlocks some simple meals. And then we'll try making some popcorn while we wait too. Oh wow, the herring takes a while. <gasps> so you can just like head out and do a little bit of adventuring while you wait. Let's wake Gwen up. I'm sure she appreciated that. And we'll try getting another fish. I wonder how often she needs substance as a spirit. Ah, there we go. Daffodil, what do you think it is this time? Another herring? Oh, look at that, another herring. <laughs> All right, so let's say good morning to Gwen and see how she is. Oh, we can't talk to her, but we can give her a hug. I'm fine, thank you. Can't give her a hug either because she was recently hugged. <gasps> Look at this! So her mood perk means that she'll shop for fiber, shops for threads, and uses the loom. She likes- favorite food is black coffee, and she has comfort foods. That is- she likes comfort foods, among other things. That's adorable. Uh-oh. Look at that! Yes! Yes! Hang on! Oh! <gasps> it's so cute! I love a little low-lying island like that. And we learned grilled fish. Oh, thank goodness. I thought we were going to burn the kitchen down. All right. We should hop on that island over there. Maybe we'll find something interesting. Oh, this is so cool. All right, guys. Well, we're getting ready to go with Gwyn on yet another adventure. I sort of feel like we need to make her some more popcorn just in case before we go. So let's get that started. <laughs> Thankfully, it cooks really quickly but good to have her favorite snack. We are supposed to make the spirits happy after all. But all right, if you guys could do please leave a like for Daffodil and Gwyn and our growing ship, which will hopefully soon have some beautiful growing plants on it. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.